tam 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 No more that's for me and you We're not afraid of the Wuhan flu Much of this is fraud, it's true Don't be afraid of the Wuhan flu Hi, I'm on the track to Mars And my lead-in, uh, deals partially with my, uh, subject matter I really do sing that song when I leave an, an establishment that requires masks and I get a lot of strange looks and some compliments, so on. But I wanted to discuss today the concept of Potemkin reality. And the reason I'm doing this in the parking lot is I want you to notice the mask bots, the people with masks, basically. They're wandering around on the parking lot with those cruddy things on. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're as bad for your health as smoking cigarettes are. They screw up my breathing constantly. I can't stand them. Anyway, well, I had an epiphany yesterday about uh, what's going on in this country. I look at CNN, NPR, uh, the New York Times, so on and so forth. Essentially, they've created what's known as Potemkin reality. That uh, term dates back to Tsarist Russia when some hotshot was trying to impress some Tsar or something, so we built a uh, fake village for everybody to see. And that's what basically what people are living in in this country now. It's a fake reality that's being presented by CNN, uh, NPR, New York Times, so on and so forth. Okay, but I had the epiphany I had was uh, our situation strikingly similar in some respects to an episode of the Star Trek, the original series called The Cage. If you're not familiar, uh, Captain Christopher Pike got put in a uh, cage with a woman uh, by some very powerful telepaths, and they were able to manipulate his mind and her mind through the use of the illusion. And he did not like, like that whatsoever. At one point he's uh, growling in, you'll find my thoughts more interesting to Lothian. Thoughts so primitive you can't understand them. Emotions so, and then he gets cut off and gets punished. That's basically what we're living in. Uh, the Keeper, these are these big bulbous head, gray alien looking types, and the Keeper says, wrong thinking is punishable, right thinking is as quickly rewarded. And what do we have? We have cancel culture, telling us what we can and cannot think. We have basically a fake president, as far as I'm concerned. I don't consider him to be the president. We have a total Potemkin reality. And I can't say I escaped it, but a long time ago I had to, there was a CNN bot at one time. A CNN headline news bot, basically. I'd watch it for hours on end. Then, I was forced by economic circumstances to discontinue watching it, to get rid of the cable or whatever, and started listening to talk radio, and over time I realized how badly I'd been controlled. That's the way it is. This is about control. Uh, everything is mind control in this country. I don't think there's a single dramatic series on TV anymore that has, has uh, anything to do with entertainment. It's all about propaganda. Leftist propaganda. There used to be good shows on it. But, like I said, the, the uh, Captain Christopher Pike there was controlled 
through basically telepathy and uh, he didn't like that, so he was fighting against it. Turns out the woman he was in the cell with got put together wrong by uh, the aliens, and so she wanted to stay, and he wanted to go. My advice, turn off CNN, don't go to the New York Times, LA Times, and uh, the like. NPR, I recently threw them off my computer, I won't use them for a news source, I won't even touch them even for science. It's all fake. As are the masks that we're forced to wear. Like I said, if you're noticing mask bots, many of them are still wearing them even though they're outside. I take mine off, and this I'm outside of a store, then I sing my little jingle, which is a protest song against masks. Because they are harmful to your health, and nobody will ever convince me they're not. Not after all the problems they've caused me. I'm starting to have muscle spasms probably related to them too. I don't know. I gotta cut this short. Because if I don't, some communists will come along and tell me I can't uh, do a video here. And the other thing is I'm in a hurry, so it doesn't matter whether the commie comes along or not. But just remember you're living in a fake Potemkin reality. 99% of this is just bull weep. In a public parking lot, so I don't want to cuss, so it's just bull slot. They've manipulated the numbers, so now Joe Biden is to the rescue, and he's solving the Wuhan flu crisis. He hasn't done anything. He's a useless piece of garbage who's destroying uh, people's lives and their jobs. That's all he is. But the media will never let you know that. Think for yourselves. Go to alternative news sources. Get together in your groups share information. That's the number one thing you can do to help yourselves is share information. That's going to have to do it for today. i got to get on the road. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day.